Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're looking at AMC Entertainment and we have some big news. Firstly, let's go off with Ken Griffin Live. So everyone knows what's happening with Ken Griffin, the CEO of Citadel, and how and what he said about his relationship with Robin Hood. And so, you know, this was trending on Twitter. Ken Griffin lied. Hashtag Ken Griffin lied. And this was on US Twitter. You can see in this particular post that this user said, Hey, at Twitter, how much did Ken Griffin pay you to remove Ken Griffin lied? We have received. And so what happened is, is that Ken Griffin lied on Twitter was trending number one on the US sector of Twitter. Everyone knows that the trending for Twitter works for different regions. You know, you get US, you get Canada, you get UK, different regions. And for the US region, and that's obviously predominantly where, you know, the attention is, Ken Griffin Light got removed. And there was some news in regarding to, obviously Citadel owns a, you know, a partial of Twitter. And so they said that they're using these power to really get away. And this is again, another tactic used by hedge funds to really divert your attention away from other people. And so, you know, this is getting crazy. Hopefully with the amount of exposure this is getting, you know, we can only hope that when these things happen more and more, you know, it will come to the point where eventually you can no longer stop it. You can no longer suppress what's being, you know, released to the public and something will be done about this. And so this is big and let's look more at of this. You know, going back and this is kind of going back. This is so you guys can see down here the 28th of January and this is by Justin Khan. For those of you who don't know, he's the founder of Twitch. And he says here, just got a tip that Citadel reloaded their shorts before they told Robin Hood to stop, stop trading GME. If this is true, Ken Griffin and the Robin Hood founder should be in jail. And so, you know, this is from a billionaire, you know, from someone who is very successful. And obviously here, he's not, you know, going against the apes. And so I can only assume that what he said here is completely right. You guys can see that tweet has been deleted. Whether it's been deleted by Twitter, whether it's deleted by himself, you know, we don't know. Maybe he got too much pressure from other firms, quote unquote, you know, I'm not going to name any firms. Everyone knows what I'm talking about. It's in this paragraph. But, um, you know, what is really happening with, um, you know, these hedge funds? Us apes won't know, but definitely when you're one of the ones who are in kind of that level of society, you know, you're most likely to know. And what I feel like what he said here is completely true. And so, you know, this is just this is going back from the day everyone knew, but now we're getting more and more attention. And here you guys can see leaked documents shows that the Citadel's CEO lied under the oath about collusion between Robinhood stopping trade and Citadel. Do you really want them to control your crypto too? And so why is this important? Firstly, again, this is what happened with the Citadel CEO lying under the oath. Normally when you lie under the oath, and this is why I say normally, normally when you lie under the oath, you're meant to go to prison, but when you're someone of this status, you know, who knows what's gonna happen, but the only thing we can hope for is that obviously we bring more exposure, we bring more pressure to everything so that we can finally get what we deserve for AMC and really in the stock market. But another reason why this is important is because this is in the cryptocurrency Reddit. And, you know, firstly, do you really want them to control your crypto too? You know, this is already encouraging crypto users. Now, not all AMC users are crypto users. And, you know, I know some people trade both crypto and AMC, but, you know, not all AMC apes are crypto and not all crypto users are AMC apes. And so this is another thing where, firstly, again, more exposure. That's extremely important for us because what we need is exposure what we need is really understanding you know what this exposure can do for us but also for more kind of you know different sectors different industry from those people to really understand what's happening as well and go against us because you know for crypto that's something that is obviously there is you know um controversies about crypto but definitely that is a big user base and if we can get them on board it'll be extremely good and then here, Citadel on Twitter then said, Citadel did not ask Robinhood or any other firm to restrict or limit its trading activity on January 27th. And he said in here, Ken Griffin and Vlad have never met or spoken, emphasized on never here. So really they're trying to, you know, obviously say to everyone that we did not do anything, but you know, I'm not gonna go too much into it, but I'm sure everyone really understands, you know, what they're trying to do. Because, you know, 
I feel like these things, you can't go too much into it, because if you do, you probably be in the trouble, and, you know, so we all know what's happening, but this is definitely going to get this out there. Everyone is going to understand what is happening, and this is extremely good. Finally, let's look at the utilization rate. This is the auto takes of for Monday. We're looking at a short interest of 97.13 million at 20.47%. We're looking at the utilization rate at 87.82. So we definitely want to bump up the, 80, the utilization rate number. Um, you know, back in the days we, we used to see 93s and that, but now we're looking at 87 and 87.82, but we definitely want to see those going up. Anyway, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys didn't, make sure to press that like and subscribe button down below. Comment down below what you guys from my AMC and comment down below what you guys want to see next. And with that, enjoy your day.